we throw around the word disruptor a lot when we talk about certain companies, especially in technology. One of the biggest conferences that deals with these tech disruptors is going on right now. So what does it mean to be a disruptor, and why should investors care? Julia Borston tells us. A disruptor is a company that innovates with technology to challenge established companies and business models. Two of the biggest disruptors, Facebook changing advertising and Netflix transforming the entertainment business, are thriving, trading at all-time highs. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer taking the stage here at the TechCrunch Disrupt Conference. As about 3,000 entrepreneurs and investors flocked to the event and hope to follow in their footsteps. This is an extraordinary event. I liken it to the Olympics for some of the best technical athletes in the world. The community that comes to Disrupt is the best of investors, influencers, and certainly entrepreneurs. To hear leaders the most powerful internet companies reveal their next steps, and to hear from pre-IPO companies, Twitter, Box, and Dropbox, facing questions about their IPO plans. We don't really have a timeline for it. We are really still focused just on building our markets. Doing things like moving, in, moving into the enterprise is a, is a big focus for us now. With those established companies setting the gold standard, the question is how a slew of new startups presenting and competing here are disrupting or shaking up established industries. Like Curator, launching a company like Pinterest for Art, planning to eventually launch a new art market. Every year people around the world spend over $12 billion on art below 50K, so that's kind of our market. Tackling the $500 billion men's retail market, Branded connects men who hate to shop with people who love to, to become their personal shoppers. I know the pain that men have when they go shopping, and I have that pain too, and there's nothing online at the moment. There's no market leader in men's commerce. There just isn't one. Everyone that's tried it always goes for this fashionista customer, but the majority of men are not fashionistas. There is even Monsieur's $1,000 robot that mixes cocktails for bottle service at clubs and VIP sports lounges. Now we'll see how it shakes up the bar business. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in San Francisco.